Good afternoon or good evening, everyone, and welcome again to Cooking with Christine. This is Christine Mayfield, and this is our granddaughter, the baby, Jody. And so she's helping today, and Lilo is going to help on Sunday, and then Josiah will be back next week. Today is Sweet Thursday, and what we're doing for you is uh, mini cinnamon twists or mini cinnamon twirls. And I hope you enjoy it. It's a very easy, quick recipe uh, and to get the kids involved and helped out during these COVID-19 days. Thank you. Today's show, let's talk about the tools you need. Okay. You need a knife. Yes. And what is this called? Uh, a brush. A brush, oh, it's a plastic brush. With a spoon, this yes. is a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, and some type of measuring, measuring device, spoon. measuring spoon. A cup, what does this say? Half a cup. Yes, half a cup. cup. And as far as the ingredients, you will need, what's, what's this? Melted butter. Melted butter, all right. And you're gonna need some supreme, spice supreme ground cinnamon. We'll also need, I think these, what are these, Christine? Peaches? Peaches, what? yes. Okay. Those are the canned peaches. These are just canned peaches. How much of this do we need? Well, I'm just actually just experimenting with that today, so. I just put a couple of peaches, two of them, and chopped them up. Okay, and these are with apples? Apples. Okay. From the canned apples. From the canned apple. Oh, and far as the, you also need this size bowl right here. Yes. What size is this? Um, I mean, it's not the size of the bowl, it's what's going in the bowl. I see. So you just need something to pour your sugar and cinnamon in. Then you're gonna need the monk fruit sweetener, her favorite. Or Mint. regular sugar. Or regular sugar. Now you can use, what's this? Oh, we have- and This is an addition to that. This is an addition to this. We have confectioner's powdered sugar. Yes. Okay. And then we also have a very important ingredient, Pam coconut oil. And can they use any type of Pam? Yes. Or, or okay. just have- kind of spray. Okay. Um, it doesn't have spray. to be coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have the Pillsbury Grand's Crescent. Crescents. Star of the show. And these are eight big rolls and you can buy them at your friendly neighborhood grocery. One more ingredient that we forgot to mention, and that is marshmallows, or correctly pronounced marshmallow. So be sure to add that to the list of ingredients. Thanks, grocery. Okay, so what do we do first? Okay. Now we're going to pop open this. Yes. Uh, this, this can of rolls. Amazing how they get, get in here. I hate them too. I love it, watch this pop, guys. Look at that, I love it. <laughs> they put it under pressure. That wasn't so, oh, so bad, okay. So we're gonna take these you Take out. these out, okay. And um, try to peel them apart. So okay. Mix them. Here you go, Jody, I have a little helper today. All right, so we have a helper. Okay, and say, hey, so hello, hi. look how pretty she looks. There she goes. This is Jody. All right, put the bed in the trash one on So I noticed you use crescent rolls. Can you use any other type of roll? Well, for this, um, I, I would prefer uh, crescent, crescent rolls. rolls. Yeah. Okay. They're thin enough, and they have a texture different from biscuits. And so what we want to do is now take these apart. Okay. So how do we do that? We found one that we can take apart. They're like perforated. Oh, okay. Almost like pill apart. Oh, okay. <laughs> pull apart. And so, this one. Okay, so you're just it should be it eight off. of these, yes. Oh, I see. Should be eight of these in there. All right. So there's one. All right, so we've unraveled each one. So what do we do next? So I want I want to make sure that these are more in a triangle shape. Okay. It works better, so I'm going to cut this little tip off. Guys, I sprayed some of the Pam on my fingers so that the dough would not stick so much to my fingers. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna cut that off and do it on oh, okay. this one as well. And turn it around. Okay. Okay. And so then what I have to do is cut each of these in half. So when I say these are many, they are many. Doesn't have to be perfect, as close to half as you can get. So 
Hope you guys are doing great out there. All right, so it's not perfect, doesn't have to be, guys. So now we have, out of these two, we have four now. Okay. Okay. All right. And so the thing I'm gonna do now is I wanna mix my sugar. I'm gonna wipe the oil off my fingers. I'm gonna mix my sugar, my granulated sugar. So you can use regular sugar. I'm using monk fruit as always. Okay. And it is a half a cup. So I'm just gonna pour it over this little bowl because this is where it's gonna go in case I spill some. Now let's bring that in the camera view. Okay. All right, so this is half a cup. This is half a cup. Okay. I'm gonna pour it in here. All right. You see, it looks just like regular sugar, guys. All right. And then we're going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm gonna put this on a teaspoon. Okay. So this is a teaspoon. Bring that over to the camera here okay. we can see. All right. I'm trying to do a heaping teaspoon. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna mix that with my sugar. Okay. Okay. All right. So you mix that together with the sugar. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this. Yes. Okay. So we mix this together. Here you guys, you can use the same um concoction here to make cinnamon toast. Oh, okay. So we mix that up real good. It doesn't take a lot of cinnamon. It's a lot more sugar. Now this amount is for, really for 16 rolls. Yes. We're just doing this just for four for right now. Yeah, exactly. So you can see it, so okay? So you can see it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take this brush and I'm going to brush the uh, rolls with butter. Okay. So that the cinnamon can stick. So this is, okay, I see. Can you use any, do you have to use butter or can you use some type of olive oil? Or? Uh, I'm not sure what, how olive oil would taste, but you can always try it, you can always experiment. Okay. I'm a, I'm a butter fan. I do use olive oil for certain things. Can you guys hear me okay? I hope so. Hope you're having a fabulous day. All right, so we've got those saturated with butter. Okay. All right. That to put side. that aside. So what do we do next? Now we're going to sprinkle. All right. So we've got we've we've cut these and separated these from yes. the rolls. Then you uh, coated them with butter. Yes. Okay. And then you mix your cinnamon and sugar concoction together. Yes. So what do you do next? Now we're going to sprinkle each one of them with cinnamon and sugar. Oh, that's pretty easy. It's a little messy, but you know it's not going to be perfect. But okay. All right. I see. So. In this case, since we're doing 16, uh, you'll be doing 16. Right now, we're just doing four to show you. Yes. So you're gonna sprinkle all of these. All of these, yes. Okay. And I guess you could have used a uh, sifter. Yeah, I do have a sifter too. I can use. And that's might have worked. But then again, you might have wasted a lot of sugar on the side. On the sides, but it's gonna, some of it's gonna waste anyway. Okay. But yeah, my husband is becoming a great cook. Look at that sifter. Yeah. Strainer. Okay. Alright. So you want, you want to make sure they're, they're going to taste cinnamony. Okay. Is that a word? But, but not too much cinnamon. Not too much cinnamon? Not too much? Okay. Right. Alright, that looks pretty good, huh? That looks good. That, that's good. Alright. So we'll put that aside. Alright, so now what we'll do is we're going to take a marshmallow here. The marshmallow. Oh, the marshmallows here. Oh, we forgot to like, tell you about oh, this ingredient. This is a surprise ingredient yes. called marshmallows. Yes. So we have, and, and we have the large ones. You can, you know, if you don't have the large ones, you can make the small ones work. We're gonna take it and cut it in half. Okay. Can you just okay. pull them apart? Or do you have to cut them? Is there well, some magic to cut them? I don't think apart. I don't know if these pull apart. Well, let's see. Well, look at that. Oh, it did pull apart, huh? Right. So what do you do? Put them on top of here? Yes. And so we're going to roll it. No, just one. Oh, just one? Yes. And then you have to roll it. Then you have to roll so it. So like this, like you're doing Play-Doh? No, you're going to roll it in here. Oh, what? You're going to roll it in here? Yes. Oh. You're going to roll it in your cinnamon. 
Crescent roll. Crescent roll. This is like uh, back in the day we called these pigs in a blanket with Vienna, Vienna or Vienna. If you're from the south, south sausages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll just roll this one right quick. Yeah, roll that one. Take a little bit off the end. That's pretty simple. So you gotta make it work for you. And that's kind of what it, it. the end looks like. Yes. It does look like a fix in a blanket, except it's a marshmallow in a blanket. Okay. Okay. And so there you have it. There you have it. And so these will go in the oven for well, 375. Okay. Now we're gonna be right back and we're gonna actually do the rest of these and we're gonna show you what the end result looks like. All right, we'll be right back. Right, so we're gonna do a little variation that we talked about earlier. Now this one, we the first time we used our classic marshmallows, but this time we're gonna use some fruit inside. So you've got a choice of the marshmallows or the fruit. So Christine, uh, do we do the same exact thing we did? Yes, we do. We're okay. going to brush the crescent You're brushing. rolls with okay. butter. All right. So that the cinnamon can stick, cinnamon sugar. We'll do the same thing with this one. Okay. So for you guys who don't like marshmallows, which I don't think anybody doesn't like marshmallows. Come on. You, you can use good old, what? You don't like marshmallows? No. You need to turn in your Georgia <laughs> license. You're not from Georgia. You don't I don't like right? All right, so we're gonna so do the- sprinkle the cinnamon and sugar again. The cinnamon, okay. And this is a really easy recipe very to make. Very easy, very easy. And you may not want to cut your um, crescents. When I first learned to do this, this is what we did. But when I look at it now, I think the next time I do it, I won't. I just might have to buy two packages of crescent rolls. Well, I tell you what, I want one with a big one. Okay. All right, so we've got this. Now we take our fruit. So one's going to be peach and one's going to be apple. Yes. Okay. So we're going to take one peach. Okay. Here's the peach. And Let's show our audience the peach. This is the peach okay. looks like. Okay. Put the peach in there. It's not going to bear a whole lot. So. Oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And so then we're going to roll it. Peach in the blanket. It's peach in the blanket. Okay. Roll it. Okay. We had to put too much peach in there, sticking all over the side. Oh, that's so. good. That's still gonna that's be okay. good. Though. And then this one, we're gonna put the apple. Apple. Let's bring that more to the center. Okay. There we go. That's not gonna be very much. Okay. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. All right. So this is the variation on uh, what we did earlier. And we're gonna be right back and Christina's gonna do the rest of the rolls. Some are gonna be uh, fruit and some are going to be marshmallows and we'll be right back. They look like after we rolled everything up. All right, so take a look at it. And if you want to, you can sprinkle some more of the powder, sugar, the sugar and cinnamon mix if you like. But this is a good idea of what they look like. And if you did, prior to putting them in the oven, we just simply just take a sifter or your spoon and just sprinkle some on top all right that's it all right we'll be right back hey guys okay look don't they look beautiful and boy if you could smell what we smell in this kitchen it's actually permeating throughout the house all right so i'm going to go ahead and get the topping ready for you real quick that consists of a half a cup of powdered sugar and a white milk yes this is a half a cup of confectioner sugar and a little bit uh, over a tablespoon of milk and so now we're going to drizzle this over the cinnamon the mini cinnamon twists doesn't matter how you do it Now, don't, don't get mad at that camera angle because I lost my cameraman for a moment. So I'm doing this all by my lonesome. That looks good.
Okay. There we go. Yes. The last one. So any kind of way you want to put it on there, you can do that. Okay. I think I want to put a little bit more on this one. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, guys, so that is it. Mini cinnamon twirls, or mini cinnamon twists. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I had a lot of fun. This is a fun uh, recipe for your kids. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to try it myself. In fact, let me do that right quick. Let me try it. Mmm. It's absolutely delicious. Mmm. And that's the one with the apple in it. Mm. So thank you. You can do anything you want to with it. You can put other variations of fruit. But uh, we appreciate you joining us today. I'm so sorry for the delay in um, the show today. But we're working on our technical difficulties and we're going to get better and better as time goes on. Thank you so much again. Have a great um, rest of the week. I'll see you on Sunday for Savory Sunday. I'll let you know uh, tomorrow what that recipe will be. Still thinking about it. I'll let you know. Have a good one and we love you. Be safe.